everyone, I'm Maggie Weldon from maggiescrochet.com and I'm going to show you how to do some of the basic crochet stitches and I'm going to start with a slip knot and then I'll show you how to make a starting chain, a slip stitch, a turning chain, uh, what they mean when they want you to do a single, a double, a half double, the triple, the treble, what I mean, whatever the stitches are. I want to show you from the very beginning all the way through to the end of your um, crochet lessons. I'm going to do um, try to do all of them. So if you want to go ahead and comment and anything that you need help with, just let me know. Um, in the past, I've done some of these videos, but they've been low definition, and now we're able to do them in high def, which makes a big difference. And I'm going to be using this heavy um, type of yarn here called macrame cord and uh, it'll show up really good on the camera and hopefully you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing and then that'll help you out. So all these videos will be in a playlist and you can just start from the very beginning and work all the way through the playlist and I think you'll be a better crocheter after watching these videos. That's my hope anyway. And um, I want to thank you very much for watching and make sure that you like and share and comment on our videos. It really helps us out a lot and also subscribe. And the links to everything are listed below. And let's get started on a close-up lesson. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the single crochet stitch. And I'm just doing a little sample here. I started with a chain six. And then I'm going to work, typically it's single crochet in the second chain from hook when you're working in rows. So I'm going to show you the single crochet stitch in rows. And um, so on the foundation chain, when it says to single crochet in the second chain from hook, that means to, you can't go into this one, so you go into this one, and that's the second one. So I'm just going to go in here. Let me go really slow. Um, from front to back, I'm going to go through the top strand. Now there's a, another video that shows you that other options, you could go into both strands or the back ridge, but for right now I'm just going to go in the top strand, insert my hook from front to back, and I'm going to yarn over in the back there, and draw that loop out of the chain like that. And then I'm going to give it some height, and so it should be even with the other loop like this. And I've got my hand, on, my thumb on the thumb rest like this. The head of the hook is facing me. And then I'm going to turn my hook like this. And then I'm going to turn the head of my hook down like this after I yarned over. And I'm going to draw that through the two loops on my hook. And that completes a single crochet stitch. Now again, I am going to move my pinchers down this way. And I want to work into this chain right here. And I'm going to insert my hook in the top loop from front to back like this. And then in that space, I'm going to yarn over. This is helping right now. Yarn over my hook, the front of my hook like this. Then I'm going to turn the head of my hook down like this and bring that new loop up out of the chain like this. And then I'm going to move my pinchers right underneath my stitch where I'm working. And I'm going to raise that loop up, give it some height so I'm not fighting it. And I'm going to go like this and yarn over again. And I'm twisting my wrist to uh, have the head of my hook reach for that yarn. Then I'm twisting my arm down, my wrist down like this. And I'm turning the head of my hook down and I'm bringing that through the two loops that are on my hook. And that is my second single crochet. And you can see the tops of them right here, they look like little eyes or oval shapes. So again, I have the head of the hook facing me. My thumb is on the thumb rest. I've got my hand in position here with the yarn. And I've got my pinchers right here next to the next chain that I'm going to work into. And right there is the next chain right there. So I'm going to insert my hook into underneath that top strand and I'm going to turn the head of my hook up like this and I'm going to use this hand here and then I'm going to make the yarn go across the front of the hook like that. Then I'm going to turn the head of my hook down and bring the new loop up out of that chain 
like this and I'm gonna move my pinchers right here and I'm gonna give that some height and then again I'm gonna go into that space there yarn over this is helping right here and then I'm gonna turn the head of my hook down like this and bring the new strand through those two loops on the hook to finish the next single crochet, which is the third one. So now if you turn, it should look like this. You have three ovals like that. And there's what the side looks like. And this is the right side of your single crochet stitch right here. So then again, I'm gonna go in here, front to back, and then I'm gonna yarn over in the back, but it's across the front of the hook, and I'm, I'm gonna bring that up out of that chain and I'm gonna give it some height here. And then I'm letting this yarn out a little bit more. And then I'm back into the space and I'm gonna yarn over and turn the head of my hook down like this and bring that through the two loops on my hook. And then this is the last chain. I'm gonna go in here, yarn over, and yarn over and draw through the two loops on my hook. So right there, I have one, two, three, four, five single crochet stitches. And then in rows, you chain one to turn. And then you work underneath those two to create more single crochets. So I'm just gonna go underneath the top two strands there and yarn over in the back, draw the loop out, yarn over and draw through the two loops on my hook. Then I'm gonna go underneath those top two strands. I'm on the wrong side of my work now. Yarn over, draw that loop up, yarn over, draw through two. Insert underneath those top two strands, yarn over, draw that loop out, yarn over, draw through two. So my pinchers are always moving, they're right underneath the stitch, like I'm right here under the stitch, and at the, the pinchers are working, they're helping to push that onto the hook, and then this is helping right here by moving my wrist so the strand becomes available to the hook, and then I'm gonna yarn over, Draw that loop out like that. I'm, you have to give this some height so you're not, if you don't give this height, you, you'll be fighting your stitch right there. So you definitely have to give this some height and keep a little bit of tension out here. And then it's easier to bring the new strand through to complete your stitches. So that would be row two of the single crochet stitches. So, be sure to watch all the videos. I talk about the hooks, the yarn, the different stitches, the foundation chain, everything. This is just one video in a series of how to crochet videos. And I hope that this is really helpful and be sure to subscribe to our channel, like, comment, and share. It really helps us out. And be sure to visit, visit maggiescrochet.com. Thank you very much for watching. And this is the third part, um, which we're going to do the edging round. So um, at the end of row 13, so what that is, is to just go between these two shells and go into that space right there and work a single crochet like that.